Money, 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 money. LA is giving out free rental assistance to tenants and landlords. We are gonna run through the LA County program very quickly, because we've already done a video on that, and then talk about the brand new LA City rental assistance program that was just rolled out and is currently accepting applications. So if you're looking for free money for back rent, this guide for renters and landlords will show you where to go. Hey there, Christian Walsh, real estate agent with Wire Associates. We have been helping landlords and renters know their rights before things go wrong. And we're here with a big update on free rental assistance funds in LA. So if you're ready to dive in, hit that like button and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is actually for LA County. LA City has a different program. This one was set up a couple months ago. We actually did another video on it uh, just the day before the application came out. This is LA County Mortgage Relief for Landlords. You have very specific hoops to jump through. You basically can't own more than four units in LA County, must not be located in LA City. You need to be in certain highest need census tracts and other hoops you have to jump through in order to qualify for for these funds as a landlord. If you meet these requirements, you're gonna click the apply button. In order to apply for the LA County Mortgage Relief Program for landlords, it'll be landlord specifically applying. It'll be through the Neighborhood Housing Services website. You'll click that link and you'll be brought here. You're gonna go ahead and go to the application form. And when you do that, you're gonna find that one of the requirements is that you must go to a workshop. One other important thing to understand for this landlord relief is a landlord will receive up to $30,000 for a tenant. If a tenant owes more than that, the landlord's not going to see the, those funds. They have to agree to accept the $30,000. So this program has been ongoing. We encourage you to check out our other video. And if you do qualify, make sure you apply to it as a landlord. The program for LA City, because remember, LA County did not allow a property to be in LA City. This program is through the Los Angeles Housing Department for LA City back rent. Now, the difference with this program is it's going to be initiated by the tenant. It's, it's like the Housing is Key program. Uh, there's some similarities. Uh, hopefully this one is run a little better and a little more smoothly than Housing is Key, where folks are still waiting potentially on back rent funds. This is another one where there's going to be uh, strict requirements. The program will cover up to six months of back rent, nothing beyond that. There's an income requirement, of course. You need to be at a minimum of 80% area median income or less, which is based on the number of people in the household. You can see those numbers here. There's going to be priorities. So the priority will be the folks who are at 30% of the area median income or less. They show you that here, the extremely low income, 30%. And it will also be for unpaid rent from April 1st, 2020 through September 30th, 2021. The reason for those dates is landlords have been able in LA City to evict for non-payment of those funds as of April 1st. So they're attempting to help those folks that are in that group to prevent evictions. There's three ways to apply. Apply online, by phone, or in person. A very organized website. You can check the status of an application here. As of shooting this video, the application process is open. So use one of those apply online in person over phone. And that started as of September 19th and it runs through October 2nd, 2023 at 6 p.m. They will be accepting applications from tenants. There will be a second program that's been promised as of October 23rd that will be for landlords to be able to apply, but that's not yet set up yet. That's a separate program. Frequently asked questions, I encourage you to check out this section. It does cover a lot of great questions tenants will have. This program will apply to renters and houses and condos and multifamily. You don't have to be a U.S. citizen to apply. You will need to be able to prove that you live in a unit and you can use a lease or utility bill to do that and you're gonna to have to show that you have back rent. There will be minimum requirement from landlords. Landlords will have to uh, fill out a 1099. They'll have to show that they own the property and that the tenant owes back rent. 
So there's a few things that the landlord will have to do as well for cooperation, but many landlords will in order to get that six months of back rent. Oh, and one more important thing, unlike housing is key where the funds could go to the tenant or the landlord, these funds will only go to the landlord. The funds for this program of which there are about $18.4 million that will be dedicated to this program are coming from Measure ULA. I've released a video on that, also known as the mansion tax, where any property whether it's residential, multifamily, commercial, etc., that sells in LA City for $5 million and more, they pay additional monies in transfer taxes. We have a video you can watch on that. As of right now, supposedly Measure ULA has brought in about $55 million, and as mentioned, $18.4 million of that are going to be applied to this program. But how helpful will these funds be? Of course, any funds that can help tenants and landlords right now are going to be helpful. But using this data from Kenneth Mejia, the LA City Controller, and we did a video on this as well. You notice we do a lot of videos. We talked about this new data set that shows the evictions in LA City specifically. If you go up here and you click on table, you're able to download all the data. If you click on the table section, you're able to see the eviction data running from February through August of 2023. Specifically, these are the notices that are required to be filed with LA City now. Anytime a landlord moves forward with a notice to terminate tenancy, in particular, a non-payment of rent notice to terminate tenancy is specifically what we're looking at here. What you're able to do is you're able to add up the total amount of rent that's owed. Using Kenneth Mejia's data to add up the total amount of rent that is owed and that tenants are being evicted for in LA City, we, as of right now, through August of 2023, doesn't include September data or data going forward yet, there is $187 million plus in back rent that landlords are evicting for. This doesn't include any monies that landlords have given up on because legally it's gonna to be tough to evict for it. And it doesn't include any money that's owed to a landlord where tenants are in payment plans or where landlords haven't evicted yet. So as of right now, tenants being evicted in LA City, $187 million is owed. 18.4 is gonna be less than 10% of the total rent that's owed. Hopefully LA City and some program, whether it's Measure ULA or also Proposition HHH, which has additional funds, can be allocated to help renters with back rent, which will help make landlords whole. Of course, whether the program is geared towards landlords or towards renters, at the end of the day, it is mutually beneficial. When the landlord gets those funds and lets the renter off the hook for any of those months that back rent are owed, this works out in the end and makes both parties happy. So whether it's called renter's assistance or landlord's assistance, make sure that you work to get those funds for those folks who need it. We want to hear how the LA County and LA City rental assistance programs are going. Let us know in the comments below if you've applied and if you've received those funds. Make sure you subscribe to our free weekly email newsletter and you'll know the latest updates on rental assistance programs like this, plus a whole lot more in LA. Oh, and if you like this video, you're going to love this next one. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Christian Walsh, real estate agent with Wire Associates, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and we can't wait to hear from you.